Hey guys, this is George from Georgia One Apple, and on this video I'll be showing you what's in my dock January edition. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I have, like every Mac user has, is Finder. Then I have um, Safari, which is my default web browser, and I prefer it more than Mozilla Firefox. Then I have a uh, Instant Messenger uh, for a Hotmail client called Microsoft Messenger. Um, Newsfire, which is a really nice RSS feed reader, and I'll open it right up. And you can see I have three feeds: um, Mod My iPhone, Macworld, and Apple Hot News. And it's very nice because it shows you how many feeds are unread and um, also down here at the total. And it's very easy to use. Um, so I'll close this down. Then I also have LimeWire Pro and Transmission. This is for downloading music from the web and this is for downloading files from the web. Then I also have iTunes for organizing my music. Handbrake, which is a very good app for copying your DVDs to your computer. GetTube, which is a very good app for downloading YouTube videos to your Mac. iCal and iWeb. Then I have Photo Booth for taking some nice pictures with effects. iPhoto for organizing my photo collection. iWatermark for adding watermarks to your pictures and I'll be doing a video about this app um, in the future so stay tuned um, iMovie 08 and iMovie HD Final Cut Express that came with LiveType and I used LiveType to do my video intro then ScreenFlow which is a very good app and I believe it's the best one for capturing your screen um, and what's nice about it is that you can also edit your videos and add effects to them and zoom in, zoom out. Um, and this is the app I used for every video I have on my YouTube account. And then I have GarageBand, which is for making soundtracks, for example, for my video intro, the soundtrack I have. I used, uh, I made it with GarageBand. Then I have um, text edit for creating small text files. I work 08. Then I have Microsoft Word which is a very good app but it has um, I don't really like the graphical user interface so I use pages. I really like it better. Excel which is my spreadsheet editor um, and PowerPoint. Then I have um, my maintenance apps. Tech Tool Pro for checking your hardware. Um, app Cleaner for completely deleting your applications. Um, IDFrag for defragmentating your hard drive, and I'll be doing a video about this app soon. Grand Perspective for scanning your hard drive and looking up in a nice grid um, how much does each file weigh and um, where they're located and what's actually consuming your hard drive space iFreeMem for clearing out your RAM memory and this is very good for opening a lot of apps at once or video editing, photo editing. Onyx which is a very good um, hardware and software um, maintenance app and it has a lot of features. Activity Monitor which is um, a very nice app to see your network usage, your CPU usage, your memory usage, your hard drive usage. Uh, or force quitting uh, applications and processes and what I like about activity monitor is that when you open it up it shows right here a little graph so I have set it up um, to show um, my hard drive usage so the red line is write and the green line is read and it shows you how much memory is, right, is being written on your hard drive then I have Norton Antivirus which is a very good um, antivirus and I always use this antivirus on PC and I've never had any trouble 
um, then I have system preferences and um, software update and then I have um, toast titanium and li liquid CD for burning CDs then I have VMware Fusion which is a virtual desktop application and I like it better than Parallels desktop because it's um, easier to use and simpler and it has a very nice user interface KCN screw which is a serial number database and it has a lot of serial numbers um, iSync and caffeine and lockdown for securing your Mac and then I have um, my documents stack which is in a grid view my download stack which is in a um, fan view and my apps stack which is in a list view so I'll go scrolling down and show you all my apps real fast. I'll do that again on the top. Okay guys, so if you saw any app in the dock that you liked and would like to download for free or um um, get me showing you how to use it and everything um, send me a message or a comment and I'll be doing that soon um, by the way uh, the background in the dock I put it in with super docker which is a very good dock um, customizer and um, also these spaces right here I also added them with super docker so Thanks for watching guys, please comment, rate and subscribe and goodbye.